Hello, this is Andrew, VK3FS, and today we're going to have a look at locking the ICOM IC9700 with the Leo Bodner Reference Injection Board. This is the Leo Bodner ICOM IC9700 Reference Injection Board. It locks the transceiver's internal frequency reference to an external 49.152 meg signal. If the internal reference is locked to a GPS signal, achievable ICOM stability can be better than 1 Hz on all bands. And this is the Leo Bodner Mini Precision GPS Reference Clock. These two products provide probably the best solution available to stabilise ICOM's IC9700. A rather expensive VHF UHF radio that is sadly lacking in frequency stability, especially on the 1296 meg band. The Leo Bodner Mini Precision GPS Reference Clock comes complete with a USB cable, GPS antenna and a carry case. This is a low jitter GPS locked precision reference frequency and the digital phase lock loop allows the output frequency reference to have almost any value between 400 Hz and 810 megahertz. The output is a 3.3 volt square wave at CMOS levels and 50 ohm impedance. Its output drive levels can be adjusted via the configuration software available on the Leo Bodner website. The injection board comes with a pigtail and the appropriate mounting hardware. Installation is straightforward and there are detailed instructions on the Leo Bodner website. To install the injection board, remove the screws to expose the underside of the IC9700. Screw and remove the SMA connector on the back of the radio. Disconnect the small UFL connector and remove and save the cable. Now remove the back airflow protection sponge and stick it elsewhere in the 9700. This can be a little stiff. Remove the two screws on the main printed circuit board marked number 10 and 11. Install the injection board using the two supplied longer screws. The reference injector board sits just above the local internal oscillator can and swamps it, forcing it to lock to the Leo Bodner board instead. Install the supplied SMA extension cable between the injector board and where the previous SMA connector was. That's pretty much it. Now you can install the bottom cover again and fix it in with all those screws. Turn the radio on and let it warm up for 5 to 10 minutes. Now it's time to configure the Mini Precision GPS Reference Clock. Launch the configuration utility that you downloaded from the Leo Bodner website and set your GPS clock output to 49.152 MHz. Also set the power output to 32 milliamps. That's the full power setting. Connect the clock source to the SMA connector on the back of the IC9700. Tune to a stable CW frequency. I'm using VK3RGL, a GPS locked beacon on two meters, and VK3RXX, also a GPS locked 23 centimeter beacon. You can always use a reliable signal generator if you don't have a good known source nearby. Select USB on the radio and tune down 1 kHz. This should produce a 1 kHz audio tone on the radio. This can be measured on the audio scope on the radio or on an external device. Here I'm using the software called Spectran, which is a free download, but the audio scope on the IC9700 works just as well. Let's open up the reference adjust section on the 9700. Press the menu button, set, function, then reference adjust. Adjust the sliders so that the audio frequency sits right on 1 kHz. Chances are the reference board is doing its job already and it's already there. 
That's it, job done. The IC9700 is now GPS locked. There are a lot of frequency stability options for the IC9700 on the market. And by far, this one is probably the best, judged by many comments online. In my opinion, it's well worth the investment and turns an already brilliant radio into a rock solid transceiver that's gonna give you many years of frequency stable operation.